morning friends. I first of all just want to start off this video by saying a big thank you to you all. I really appreciate all the support on my video on how I explained how I became a airline pilot. I really appreciate all the feedback and all the messages and everything I received. So I'm glad to hear you guys got something out of that. It means a lot, so thank you. Today's video, uh, I'm actually on a day off in Melbourne today. Time for me to renew my class one medical, which all airline pilots have to hold, which we have to renew every year to allow us to continue to fly. So I'm no doctor and I don't remember exactly what I did five years ago when I first got my class one medical. But basically, on your initial, you have to do a whole bunch of tests from an ECG, blood test, hearing test, a whole bunch of different tests. And then every year from that, you only have to go see your doctor once a year, kind of like a general checkup, checks your eyesight, color blindness, things like that. But because I'm 25 now, it's been five years since I got my initial class one medical. This year, I have to actually go get an ECG. <laughs> blood test. And hearing test. I did that a few days ago already because they need a few days for the results to be sent to my Damie, which is a designated aviation medical examiner. So I'm gonna go see him today. Obviously I'm at home right now, but I thought I would take you guys with me today, sort of go through my morning routine and then head to the Damie to get my class one renewed. And then yeah, do a gym sesh and that pretty much should be the video. So it'll be a fairly quick video. I thought why not take you guys with me today? So let's go. So my last video, which was the question and answer video, you guys did ask me how I sort of they motivated it's kind of what inspires me obviously I did answer those in that video but one thing I like to do each morning as well is called a five minute journal basically it's meant to take five minutes out of your day hence the name the five minute journal it has a quote for your day and then it has I am grateful for so three things you're grateful for what would make today great three things and then daily affirmations and then at the end of the day you write three amazing things that happened today how could I have made today even better really just allows you to start your day with gratitude and end your day with gratitude as well so gets you in a good positive mindset for the day it's just something I like to do each morning so if you guys are interested it's called the five minute journal I'll put a link in my description as well if you guys want to check that out and today's quote is everything in life is constantly moving and changing. Life is about embracing this change for change is the only sure thing in life. And Mimi Icon said that. Hopefully I said that name right. So what I like to do for breakfast is actually make protein pancakes and in my opinion it is the best recipe. So I will show you guys that right now. I use one whole egg, oats, one banana, one scoop of protein and I use Optimum Nutrition's gold standard and my flavor of choice is salted caramel which is amazing. Egg whites, some cinnamon. So even though I have this pretty much every morning when I am home, I still weigh it out with a food scale because the things like the oats and the egg whites, you want to get a uh, accurate measurement. Welcome to Cooking Tips with Nick. <laughs> wow. And I like to use coconut oil spray for a little bit of coconut flavor. And then the all-important flip. Which as you can see makes roughly three pancakes I find. And you can top this whatever you like, but I like to top it with peanut butter and maple walnut syrup, which apparently is calorie free. And with the peanut butter, I do only use a quarter of a serving actually, which is eight grams. So to measure that, put this onto the food scale here. Zero the food scale, take out peanut butter until it gets to negative eight. And then that is a quarter serving. And that is breakfast sorted. And believe it or not, that whole meal is only 688 calories, which gives me 56 grams of protein, 70 grams of carbs, and 18 grams of fat. Which in my opinion is great macros or macronutrients for a meal because it is a good balance of proteins, carbs, and fats. I'm gonna dig into this, and then we've gotta to head to our medical. So I 
don't know how much I'm gonna be able to actually film in there, obviously, because it is <laughs> medical, but I will do my best. So my medical is all done for another year, which is great news, but it is now time to get changed and head to the gym. Done. Time for some pre-workout. And every day I also take a men's multivitamin because you know I'm all about health. <laughs> So as I said in my last video, which was the Q&A video, I did get asked whether I make my own workout routines, uh, and the answer is yes. Currently my split is upper, lower, upper, lower, upper. So today is an upper day. So I'll be doing two chest movements, two back movements, one tricep, one bicep, and one shoulder. And then on the lower day, I do legs and abs. Today I will take you through one of the upper workouts I do. That is it, that is going to conclude today's video. As I said this morning, it's gonna be a shorter video, but hopefully you guys enjoyed that and got something out of it. Also, at the time of making this video live, I'm actually in Dubai right now. So if you're not already, make sure to hit that subscribe button because I've got some epic videos coming from Dubai. Once again, thank you for all the support. I really appreciate it and thank you for watching. I will see you in Dubai.